Alright, so I've been working at AWS for two years now and the one question that I've been asked over a hundred times on this channel is, do I need coding skills to learn AWS and land a job as a solutions architect? So I started off at AWS as an intern in 2020 with zero certifications and a pretty basic level of coding experience. At the time, I had two goals, build my skills in AWS through certifications and land a job as a solutions architect after my internship. I honestly had the same doubts at the time. I was thinking, do I need to learn Python and Java before I even start studying for AWS certifications? And if I do land a job as a solutions architect, am I going to be expected to know how to code? So as someone who has now gotten five AWS certifications and is working full time as an associate solutions architect, I decided to make this video to help you understand whether or not you need to learn how to code before you start studying for AWS certifications and becoming a solutions architect. I've also asked some more senior solutions architects at AWS to provide their input Input, so make sure you stay until the end of this video to get a full understanding. Okay, so the short answer is no. You don't really need to know how to code to learn AWS and become a solutions architect. The long answer is it really depends. Now let me tell you why. To understand this, you'll need to know what a solutions architect actually does. An AWS solutions architect is a trusted technical advisor for customers as they go along their journey with using the cloud. On a day-to-day -day basis, solutions architects could be performing architecture reviews, providing recommendations to customers based on their business and technical goals, or just helping customers understand AWS better by running workshops and speaking at conferences. So from my personal experience as a solutions architect at AWS, I would say that we're rarely required to sit down and code up a full application. We provide high level architectural advice to the customers rather than inspecting the company's application code. Having a coding background might have been something you've seen in job descriptions as a preferred qualification, but it's not a strong prerequisite for being an AWS solutions architect. All that being said though, many solutions architects at AWS do come from a technical background. So for example, they were previously a software developer in another company, and they like to use coding to help customers better visualize the solution. For example, if a solutions architect is recommending a customer build a three tier web application using Amazon EC2, they could code the front end to show customers a landing page of what the website will look like. As an AWS solutions architect, building these kinds of proof of concepts can be beneficial, but if you don't know how to code, you can also leverage existing resources and blueprints to demonstrate the solution to your customer. Coding honestly is not too important when it comes to being an AWS solutions architect. I'll be making another video very soon on the top skills required to become an effective solutions architect, so make sure you subscribe to the channel to stay updated. Now you might be wondering, okay, so if coding is not required to become a solutions architect, how about for AWS certifications? Do I need coding knowledge to prepare for my cloud practitioner or solutions architect associate exam? If we look at the exam guide, you'll see that programming and coding isn't mentioned at all. Instead, the focus is on the ability to design and implement distributed systems on AWS. Of course, coding skills will come in handy when you're learning about AWS services that do require coding. For example, AWS Lambda, which is a serverless compute service that runs code in response to events and triggers. But AWS certifications will mainly test you on features of these services and how they can be used alongside other AWS services to help users meet technical and business requirements. So long story short, if you know how to code in Python or Java, it will be helpful when you come across services like AWS Lambda, but it's not something you need to know before preparing for an AWS certification. And just to make sure what I'm saying is not completely untrue or super biased, I've asked the opinion of some of my colleagues to provide their perspectives on whether coding is required. I don't think coding is a prerequisite, but it definitely helps. If you're designing a solution for a customer and you're familiar with the ins and outs of how the different parts might be built, it would help you make more informed decisions. AWS is a big platform. We have lots of services that don't require coding. Knowing how to code will definitely help you better relate to customers who are very technical. But because you won't be expected to build any production systems for the customers, you can get away with not knowing much coding. So in summary, you don't need to learn a programming language before you start your cloud learning journey and becoming a solutions architect. However, coding can help students better understand the AWS platform and enable solutions architects to build stronger relationships with customers. All right, so this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a like if you got something out of it. And if you have any other questions, leave it down below and I'll get back to you. All right, bye for now.